Six-man tag action inside the barbed wire cage from the Tulsa Convention Center. It's the Fantastics and Terry Taylor taking on the Sheep Herders and Jack Victory. Lady Maxine roams the outside of the ring, and there's Bobby Fulton. Now, this ring, ladies and gentlemen, is surrounded by the barbed wire cage as Luke Williams, one of the Sheep Herders, hammering away at Bobby Fulton, and this, without a doubt, one of the most physical battles of the year in the Universal Wrestling Federation or any other association. The Fantastics and Terry Taylor. Six-man tag action. As I mentioned, Lady Maxine looking on from the outside. Lady Maxine left the area in a hurry thanks to Dark Journey. And Terry Taylor being double teamed. Butch Miller of the Sheep Herders working on Terry Taylor. And ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the most physical and one of the most violent battles ever in pro wrestling. As Luke Williams of the Sheep Herders just ran Tommy Rogers face first into the barbed wire. A lot of people wonder why do they sign this type of match? It's to settle their issues. It's to settle their feuds. It's man on man. Nobody leaves until it's all over from the barbed wire cage. That's Bobby Fulton and Terry Taylor back on the attack, back on the offense, but they have lost a lot of blood in this six-man barbed wire tag team matchup. Now, later in the hour, you're going to be seeing how Terry Gordy became the first Universal Heavyweight Champion. We're going to show you Ted DiBiase and Terry Taylor as they battle the Freebirds in a country whipping tag match. Plus, in a six-man match, Cowboy Bill Watts Dr. S. D. Williams and Hacksaw Duggan taking on Ivan and Nikita Koloff and Corsita Korchenko, the three Russians. That all coming in this hour. It's like a who's who in pro wrestling in this 60 minutes. The UWF 1986 year in review as Lady Maxine carries the New Zealand flag proudly. The people in Tulsa, certainly pro-American all the way. As Butch Miller choking Tommy Rogers, Luke Williams finding Bobby Fulton with a right hand. And it's Terry Taylor and Jack Victory. And Victory goes face first into the wood framing that the barbed wire is attached to. Jack Victory with those sheep herder camouflage tights, their trademark, as Taylor and the Fantastics lying in a heap in the middle of the squared circle. The Universal Wrestling Federation, long known before as the Mid-South Wrestling Organization, long known for its physical and violent competition between evenly fought teams, between evenly fought men one-on-one. -on -one. That's what you're seeing right here, that barbed wire shaking right in your screen. The prongs of the barbed wire are used to keep animals in on the range. Once a great point of controversy with ranchers and farmers, and now it's surrounding the ring in Tulsa as the Fantastics and Terry Taylor are being cheered by this awesome crowd in Tulsa. And the barbed wire cage. Butch Miller thrown into the cage. Jack Victory pulled it through Victory into the cage. And it's getting very physical here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. The Universal Wrestling Federation. And look at Luke Williams' face just raked across that barbed wire. It's hard to really call the action because it's so diversified. It's so spread out in the ring. And now all six men are bleeding profusely. The Fantastics and Terry Taylor taking over on victory in the Sheep Herders inside the barbed wire cage. And Luke Williams going right back into that cage as all six men are losing a lot of blood and now victory that barbed wire right into his forehead this is the most physical match and look at tommy rogers on top of the cage rogers is on top of that cage all the way off the top came tommy rogers what a matchup these six men one of the hottest views at that time of the year in wrestling the Fantastics and the Sheep Herders. And there's Fulton in victory. On the top rope. They're a long way from the floor. Victory 
Murray's head tracking into that lumber. The framing there that the barbed wire is attached to. Fulton on the top rope. And then Fulton with that double fist right to the face of Jack Victory. Victory kicks out. The most physical six-man tag match in existence, and you're seeing it right here. Victory now with a pile driver. And he is pile driven. Fulton. Terry Taylor. These men, you can almost see, they're giving it their all. But what? how much do they have left? This had to be one of the most physical matches of the year. I know it's one of the most physical matches that I've seen. And remember, as I mentioned just moments ago, Terry Gordy, you'll see how he became the first UWF champion in the hour. Other tag team action, Country Whippin', Ted DiBiase and Terry Taylor. They're an awesome team. And they took on the fabulous Freebirds in a Country Whippin' match. Terry Taylor, now up to the second row. Terry Taylor with a pity predicament on Jack Victory. And there's the pinfall. Taylor the Fantastics with the victory. And we'll have more in this year review right after this timeout.